Paris is a city famous for clinging tenaciously to its past, but some traditions are dying, and it's the last ones you think. The entire world dreams about France with croissant, but we don't teach anymore how to make croissant in France. Actually, in school, they teach how to open boxes, cotton boxes with frozen and croissant, how to oh, open it. There are 14 croissants here. All are different. This is craftsmanship. Bread is a hugely important part of French eating culture. In French culture, it's probably the culture which has the strongest link to the bread. But not everyone's doing it the way you're doing it. As important Nobody as it is, is doing the way I do it. it. Christophe Vasseur, Paris's best and most stubborn baker in this episode of My Part-Time Paris Life. Ah, Paris. City of Light, so beautiful, so romantic. La Tour Eiffel, Notre Dame, picnics on the Seine. <laughs> this isn't my Paris. This is my Paris. This is where real Paris lives, shops, eats, and hangs. And I'm going to show you around. My favorite street markets, the best restaurants, the popular local neighborhoods where tourists rarely go. I'm Lisa Anselmo, and this is my part-time Paris life. I'm pretty sure I've gained a dress size since I've been in Paris. The reason? This place. Du pain c'est des idées in Paris's 10th arrondissement. Bread is life in Paris, but look, if I'm going to eat carbs, they better be worth it. So I travel halfway across town for the very best bread. Meet my pusher, Christophe Vasseur, one of the few artisanal bakers left in this city, whose success story is a surprise to everyone but him. I've been hearing for 14 years, this will never work. I'm closed on weekends. I don't sell baguette. I don't do pâtisserie. I don't sell drinks. I don't sell sandwiches. This will never work. Yeah, come on, for 14 years. Vasseur is a true traditional boulanger, meaning he only makes bread and bread-based pastries, or viennoiserie. No cakes, no high-end confections. That's for the pâtissier. If you want to do high-quality things, the range must be as short as possible. That's why only bread and viennoiserie. The specialty here is what we call the escargot. It's, it's the kind of uh, croissant dough roll with vanilla custard or pistachio or lemon curd. We make everything with high quality ingredients in limited quantities and top quality. It's beautiful even before it's been baked. And you see the layers? Yes. This is, yeah, w when you did your job right, there is dough, butter, dough, butter. We talk a lot about tradition and passion, but actually you weren't born into a baking family. I wanted to be a baker since I was a kid, but the problem is the educational system doesn't help you to find your way. So you so ended up doing? I ended up being in a business school, working in the fashion industry as, as sales manager, sales and marketing in Hong Kong, yeah. What changed? I mean, here you are in the, in the business industry, you always wanted to be a baker. One day I realized that what I do in Hong Kong, fashion industry is not me. All my friends here say it's almost impossible to change your career. No. This is extraordinary that you were able to do it. The shame in France is there is no help. Nobody understands that you can change. It's something which is not accepted at all. Are you okay? You should see a shrink. You didn't Take... get any support from your friends. No, right? nothing. Your friends were laughing at you, but they're not laughing at you now, I bet. They, they don't laugh anymore. I, I, I'm just the living proof that when you have a dream and you have the passion, you have the will, there's no limit. Vasseur's advice to others? You have a dream? Well, come on, don't, don't say, I'm too, too old now, I have a mortgage, I have the kids. If you want to do it, you can do it. Don't let anybody stop you from fulfilling your, your, your dreams, no matter how crazy it is. Christophe Vasseur is a man blazing a trail by digging his heels firmly into the past. He's changing baking in Paris from being a menial job into a respected profession, an art form. And he's doing it with his uncompromising standards and a passion for tradition. And his bread? Oh yeah, it's damn good. some tips on baking. These are my favorites. Mm, I love those.